You'll be pleased to hear that our mutual friend is doing quite well in Lady Sansa's service. Good. One of my better ideas. And it seems the Grand Advisor has found his way into a black cell. <laughs> well played, my Lord Minister, but should I be worried? Janice Slint, Pycelle, the Parliament Council is growing smaller every day. The Council has a history of serving past ministers poorly. I don't plan on following Ned Stark to the grave. Power is a curious thing, my lord. Are you fond of riddles? Why, am I about to hear one? Three great men sit in a room, a king, a bishop, and a rich man. A common soldier stands between them, each great man bids the soldier kill the other two. Who lives and who dies? Depends on the soldier. Does it? He has neither crown, nor gold, nor favor with God. But he has a weapon in his hand, the power of life and death. <laughs> and if this is true, then soldiers rule. And why then do we pretend the queen has all the power? When Ned Stark lost his head, who was truly responsible? The queen, the executioner, or... Was it something else? I've decided I don't much care for riddles. Power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick, nothing else, a shadow on the wall. And even a very small man can cast a very large shadow. <laughs> 